Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's another episode of It's About Us. And this is Originette Bryant, just sharing a little bit of history, a little taste of history with you. I've talked to you about basketball players, artists, authors, um, singers, writers, you name it. We have an impact in the history. Sometimes the history books don't give enough credit and February is just not enough time to give the contributions to some of our famous people. And today I'm going to talk to you about Mr. Henry Pace. He was born January 6, 1884 in Covington, Georgia. Yes, right down the street pretty much for some of us. And um, he had a big strong interest in music. Do you hear the music in the background? Mm, yeah very relaxing. Well anyways, in 1912, him and W.C. Harvey, Har Handy, I'm sorry, Handy, a songwriter, they actually produced music together. His interest for music went so far into he wanted to own his own recording studio. So in, um, I don't know what year, I guess it was 1923, he changed the face of music. Um, when he actually created the Black Swan Company. But before he even did that, I want to go back before he did that, um, he actually had to borrow lots of money, $30,000 back then, to start his own recording studio. And he actually uh, created this Pace Phonograph, which was this uh, recording device that really helped um, with the sound quality of the music that we hear today. And Ethel Waters, she was his first major artist that signed a contract with him. His recording company sold over half a million records. Um, later on, like I said, back in 1923, his production company or recording company turned into Black Swan Company and he had lots of agents out of the Philippines and the West Indies. So it was an internationally known uh, recording company from an African-American man named Henry Pace. 